Okay, so today we're going to be putting together an interesting little stink bug trap. Or actually, I think it would pick up just about any insect. And first, we're going to make sure that we have everything we need. We have a two liter soda bottle, an LED light battery operated. This is the Savannah Dotted. They don't cost much. Maybe I think I got about six bucks for this one. Some black electrical tape. Some masking tape. Yes, mine's fluorescent yellow. Yes, doesn't have to be. And scissors, which are easier for me, or you can choose a knife or a razor. Whatever works for you is fine. Okay, so we're starting with the soda bottle, and I took the label off, you don't have to do this, it's just easier for me. We're going to cut the top off, like so. Be careful not to cut yourself. Right now, we're going to set this aside, and we're going to take the electrical tape, and we're going to just wrap some around the bottom of the bottle. Um, I imagine this is to help keep the bottom portion of the bottle dark. Good enough. Scissors. Okay, and then we're going to take an LED light. It's battery operated. This one is the Sylvania Dot It. And what we're going to do is we're going to place this in the bottom, like so. And we're going to take the top that we had cut off. Place it in there nice and snug. And then we're going to take masking tape. Mine's yellow. Yours can be whatever color you want. It makes no difference. This is just something for the critters to climb up the side of your jug. Kind of like a little ladder. And just go down the sides of it a few times. So, okay. There we go. And that's all there is to it. All you have to do is take a pen, pencil, something, anything. And just push. And there it is. And so we're going to put this in a dark room or Probably the attic would be the best place. We're going to see how many bugs we get to catch. Hopefully stink bugs come morning. Okay, so here we are. We got it out. And now we're going to check to see how many bugs we have. Okay, I'm going to turn off the light. So I checked the bug catcher. I counted about six, and I don't know if you can see them or not. Here's a couple. We certainly know where they get their name from because the smell is not pleasant. And while six may not be that much, it's enough for me. At least I know my house isn't plum infested, but it works. So I'd say yes, for something cheap and easy to do, it's easy to make make a bug catcher.